Art is communication. Art is giving and sharing of emotions, of feelings and thoughts for the purpose of reaching and touching the lives of others. To me, is something that's very personal, something that means something to me, something in my heart that I could share. I think it's uh, everything from the ceiling uh, of a Sistine Chapel to what your mother used to hang on a refrigerator. Art is the fullest and deepest expression of humanity. What is the meaning of art? I, I, it's just too all-encompassing. Yes, it is. It's a growth process, and it's really nice to have that. And it's an expression. I have to say that. I, I personally think it's an expression and a communication. <laughs> This is the Fine Arts Center at Castleton State College. Every day, students gather here for classes, lectures, rehearsals, performances, or gallery shows to find out for themselves something of that elusive nature of art. The facility itself is one of the finest in northern New England. Its central theater seats 500. A 50-foot high stage house with fly gallery, catwalks, and four lighting bridges, a fully equipped 2,000 square foot scene shop, full costume construction shop and the largest costume collection in the state provide the ability to stage all but the most complex productions. Musicians take advantage of this area as well as ample classroom and rehearsal space including eight practice rooms with pianos. Most traditional band and orchestral instruments including three Steinway grand pianos are available as are modern synthesizers. A large dance studio provides both a rehearsal and small performance area. The art program makes use of painting, drawing, printmaking, photographic, and sculpture studios. The Christine Price Gallery brings a wide array of current and nationally known work to the Fine Arts Center. A well-equipped television studio and editing areas allow for both audio and video production. But art is produced by people, not equipment. The Fine Arts Center is, most of all, a place where students and faculty can work together, learning and practicing the visual, musical, and theater arts. I like that. That was wonderful. Professional studio arts. Uh, the course is really a criticism seminar. People, it, it's built in, that if you're in the course, that, in fact, you spend a great deal of your time producing stuff for people to look at. And here we have this thing that's rocks. Everybody recognized or assumed that they're rocks. There was no argument about that. In terms of subject, nobody had any problem. And then they got into all of this dialogue that was, it, it seems like they were talking about execution. You get a group of students who basically are looking at the work of, this, of another student. But there's a whole pile of things that happen in that situation. There's a, a lot of information that uh, people can find out about their own work when in fact it's it's the object of discussion. When subject context comes up it's just accepted and everybody says oh yeah I can see that. I mean so everybody in this room responds in a, in a kind of collective way to the information that's there. It's just a matter of understanding what that information is. I think now that if I major in art I can do just about anything. I think it prepares me for a lot of things. And, and it's not just the art, but the, the core requirements, too. I've taken those seriously. Well, I think the liberal arts background is really helpful. And it's better than one specific narrow-minded goal. I, I enjoy teaching in a liberal arts institution. The base that you get here is a sophisticated, mature base. It's something that you can work out from. They're not telling you what to do. Mm -hmm. they're, they're helping you discover. <laughs> most interesting and most rewarding and most important uh, aspect of our program is the individual attention that is given to each student. Uh, we tried to bend towards the uh, inclinations of each student and we do have a very strong interest in each one. We focus a lot on teaching so we give them opportunities for perhaps uh, leading ensembles. In the past two years here, you know, there's been more of an interest in the music department here on campus. That has been a, a department surge. I 
really have to say, I've had a 350% gain in my overall musical understanding and ability since I've come here. While music classes, more frequently than not, investigate the intricacy of Mozart, the majesty of Beethoven, and the rich tradition of classical music, there's still time and company for other pursuits. Hurdy Gurdy is the most popular band in town. And you're part of everything, you know. One day you might take, be stage, you know, taking stagecraft, even though you're an actor, so you're working on the set, and you're working closely with everybody. So the cohesion you have with the people around here is so close. I think it's a lot closer than you would find in a big school. That's what makes a performance as good as you see here as Quartermain's Terms. Quartermain's Terms is a fairly new British play written by Simon Gray, uh, a marvelous play. It's, it's uh, about uh, a group of school teachers, and they, the play takes place over a three-year period of time in the faculty room of the Carl Luma School, which is a school in Great Britain for foreigners. So we, we approached it very much in that sense in trying to get into the world of the play and then slowly into the world of each individual character. And in that, I used quite a bit of improvisational work. My character, uh, well, he's a very, a very warm person on the inside, but it takes a lot to get there. And he's very upset, and sometimes he's always striving to become that novelist he's always dreamed about being, yet to be honest, he doesn't have to tell me. I was far more interested in this, in this production, far more interested in, in believable characters and relationships than I was in getting it up on its feet in a ground plan and, and making the picture look pretty. So it, it's, a, it's certainly very emotional in the sense that you're getting at honesty, which is, again, what the art is about, is, is honesty. The theater arts program also offers nine broadcasting courses covering a variety of areas from news to screen acting. Attorney Nikki J. We put together video magazines with uh, news stories and sports and all sorts of other pieces and that type of thing. We edit them together and then we uh, look them over and show them up a little bit to do better the next time. Courses and performances in ballet, modern, jazz, and experimental dance round out the department's offerings. Art students find ample opportunity to test the reception of their work during shows in the student gallery. You know, I tell students all the time that this is a... This is an incredible environment, not just Castleton, uh, uh, higher education everywhere. Because it's four years where your principal responsibility is your own personal uh, intellectual, mental development. That basically, you are the product that you're responsible to produce the, the four years you're here. I feel like I know where I'm going now. Even though I've, al I've, I've always, my whole life, been interested in art, and it's always been the thing that I've done the best. I never really thought I had a chance, and now I know I have a chance. I think most of the students who come to Castleton are students who are genuinely interested in a, a liberal arts uh, education. Uh, I think they're interested in a small, um, uh, close kind of community that you get in a school the size of Castleton. And uh, I think that they are genuinely, the art majors are genuinely interested in art. I, I, you know, I tell the students all the time that they're, they're definitely a, a, a special breed. And the reason they're a special breed is that they're here for some other reason than what most students come to school. And obviously, well, obviously they're marching to a different drama. All the art teachers here that I've had have knowledge. In, I mean, they're not just here making a living. October 30th, 10 a.m. The Castleton Festival Chorus presents Elgar's Spirit of England at 3 p.m. today. We made a very quick 
uh, read through in the summer. And then in September, we all met and uh, that then began to take shape. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. They don't see, all they he hear is the laundry work that is done at a rehearsal as you would have in theater or in, in art when you're just sketching things, a painting. Uh, so you don't see the glory of it all in the end. When the orchestra finally gets with the chorus, then it's kind of like the, the Wizard of Oz when we changed into Technicolor. And it's just a transformation of everything. Just the glorious sound that all of a sudden emerges. It's a very intense piece of music, extremely intense. Dress rehearsal, two days before opening night. Feel in her mouth. wants anyone, anyone else to know, not Thomas or, or Eddie. I don't want them dripping their, their filthy compassion over me. Uh, so let's all go downstairs to dressing rooms and I will give you your notes down there and then Tom can get his notes up here. Anita, uh, blocking off for three years, et cetera, yeah, and then you work, of course, you know, mm -hmm. right? Good. Exactly. Oh, Christ. Less, okay? But I was pleased that you caught yourself because immediately after that, you didn't close the set, you got control, and then you had it, and then on the To take car apart, she would take that, that's good. Okay? Theater was something I've always dreamed about. I was scared to get into. But Kevin was right there. And he says, Daniel, you've got the talent. All you need to do is work real hard at it if you really want to go for it. But that's up to you. And uh, I decided that I'm going to do something I really want to do. So I joined the theater department. Daniel Rodrigo is one that, that uh, this is his second production ever. Um, he started last, last year in our production of Fool for Love that went to the ACDF Festival. And uh, he's back again and is also now a theater mate. Opening night. The Fine Arts Center has 500 seats. Almost all are filled. Well, last year it was just about yeah, everybody else, right? The whole theater department is growing right now, and I feel there's a lot more that's going to happen. The big schools, you've got so many people to choose from that you're trained as an actor, or you're trained as a director, or you're trained as stage manager, or you're trained in behind the theater. But here, you've got to do everything. And it's a great way to introduce yourself to the whole aspect of theater. I forgot. I haven't been to bed, you see. The American College Theater Festival will bring the best six plays of the 70 it will review to the regional finals. Castleton's Fool for Love went last year. The adjudicators will see Quartermain's terms in two days. <laughs> this has been the story of students and faculty working at the arts during one semester at Castleton State College. Well, it's nice to see all the hours of shooting and logging and editing turn into something coherent. Probably the most memorable one was when Kathy and I were shooting from the catwalks above the theater and we're walking on these little metal grates about that wide. Long hours? <laughs> um, late nights? Um sacrificing. I think it's when I had this very heavy camera on my shoulder and I was trying to have a stable image and the camera was so heavy that I was just like tilting down and up and down and I just 
I panicked for a while. I think the most interesting thing was to um, take all the little parts of what we shot, all the little sections of each department, and then try to put it together. I've been working for 10 years in this building, and there's still some things about the programs and about faculty and students that I discovered in this tape.